This is Earn Tips Guide to Chinese New Year. Let's go! Chinese New Year happens once a year, but always on a different date, just to spice things up. This year is on the 28th of January. Chinese New Year is a time for family, lots and lots and lots of food, and it's pretty big for the colour red. This primary colour made its name because, like a really, really a long time ago in China, there was a beast, and then the beast used to eat all of the villagers, and they were not happy about it. But like every good villain, it had a weak spot. It didn't like loud noises, and it was super against the colour red. So to keep it away, all of the villagers wore the red, put up red lanterns, and set off firecrackers, which actually, like coincidentally, turned out to be like a really cool celebration. And they do it all the time. This year we're bringing in the Year of the Rooster. Every year belongs to a different animal on the zodiac. Ages and ages ago in China again, just like where all the things happened, an emperor decided that there should be a way of measuring time. <clears throat> Good thinking. So he told all the animals that there was going to be a race, and then the, the first 12 animals that were made it over the finish line was gonna, they were gonna be the uh, each have a year. I was born in the year of the monkey, uh, which is the best one. Monkeys are witty, intelligent, and have magnetic personalities. There are different predictions for the year depending on your sign. This year is going to be alright for me, but that's because last year was really bad, so I guess anything that's in comparison is just going to be better. Tell me your sign and then how the year is supposed to go for you. Gong Si Fa Chai! Happy Lunar New Year!